Hello everyone, my name is Tyson, and today I'm going to be doing another video talking about my Steam Controller. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking about Quake HD. Now, Quake HD is just Quake, but it's running through the Dark Sources engine with the HD texture pack um, added on. As well as adding for shaders. See, actually, just to... Since I mentioned that, I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate that. Um, go down to lighting, just turn it on to flares, and quake. Oh wait, shit. See, not nearly as... I mean, it still looks pretty good today, but the sector lighting isn't as impressive as, you know, high settings, full lighting. I mean, just look at that. That's that's fucking gorgeous. Damn. <sighs> Kids these days are spoiled. Back when I was a kid, it looked like fucking that. It fucking looked like that. Anyway, now that we're back, I'm going to go ahead and show you what my configuration is. So first up, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the right pad. The right pad is simply the mouse, and if you hold it, you enable mouse gyro, which is really nice and is essential for games like this. Uh, what else do we got? We've got the right grip is jump, the left grip enables, it's a toggle and it enables the right pad, which while you're still holding it, you can hold, you can still aim with a gyro, you just can't aim with the mouse. Or the right pad, rather. Uh, what else? So, disable that. Um, let's go ahead and talk about menu navigation. So, as you can see, because it's set to WASD, the stick is not able to navigate the menu. However, I actually have it to where if you double tap the left bumper, you gotta do it in a bit of a rapid succession, um, you enable arrows which works in conjunction with the A and B buttons which I have set to enter and Y and escape and N for being able to do anything you would need to do. <clears throat> now one thing I should mention just because I I thought it was a nice little touch that I added um, I've got auto repeat set which is you know pretty standard however I've got it to where moving up and down is a lighter haptic feedback and then going left and right is actually more intense. So the reason for this is because you're not really changing anything when you're going up and down, but you still want to know that you're moving. And going left and right, you're actually changing something, so you want to know that you're moving it a lot more. You want you, More to the point, you want to be able to differentiate um, changing a setting and moving in between settings. So yeah, that pretty much covers that. Uh, just to show that it actually does work for that function, there's that. Uh, okay, so what else? Um, right, so let's go ahead and move on to the left D-pad, or left pad, which is in this case a D-pad. I've got it to where it actually cycles between the different bindings. So the top I have both shotguns. It appears that I have to tap once for the regular shotgun and tap twice for the super shotgun. And, um, I don't know, it actually seems a little inconsistent. I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, up is the shotguns, left is the nail guns, right is the launchers, which I called art alt artillery, if I can fucking talk. And down I have set to the lightning gun, but as you can see in the top left corner, I don't have any ammo. So I won't be demonstrating that, but that pretty much... I don't think there's really m much of a need for that. I mean, it shows that it works. So, uh, what else? Uh, oh yeah, so another way of changing through weapons. Um, I mean, there is the weapon wheel, like I mentioned before. Uh, but I also enabled the right bumper to just be scroll down. And if you hold it, you actually scroll back. Does it hold? Yeah, okay, so if you hold it, you actually scroll back up though hang on just one second okay what I intended to do which I just changed it to is clicking just moves you down the list and holding actually moves you up the list 
So that way, if you're in the middle of a firefight and let's say you need a super shotgun like fucking now, you can just switch like that, or let's say you want to go back to your axe. There you go. Um, let's see, what else? Um, hmm. Oh yeah, um, clicking in this, the uh, D-pad brings you back to the axe if you if you so desire. Um, I don't know if I mentioned left trigger actually is a hair trigger jump along with the right grip. Uh, shooting is... Um, that this is not a hair trigger, you have to click it in. And... Let me just double check. Yeah, that's it. Oh, wait. Uh, if, you ta if you tap the uh, left, or the, the select button, you'll bring up your stats and which level you're on. So I'm on episode 3, mission 6. And looks like I'm probably damn near the end of the level. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the configuration. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. If you like the video, then go ahead and rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And, yeah, look, for, look forward to more Steam Controller videos. I've got quite a few planned. Um... I plan on making two more Brutal Doom Steam Controller videos. I plan on making a desktop configuration video, which I'm I'm going to do some more refining. It's pretty much perfect for me, but I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. And um, yeah, from there I don't really know as far as Steam Controller videos are concerned, but I do know that I'm going to be making a lot more. So uh, yeah, anyway guys, the rest of this is going to be a gameplay video, but until next time, this is Retro Hellspawn, signing out.
Oh. <laughs> 